Situational comedies are the absolute comfort food of TV. There are countless sitcoms that made a stir on the airways, becoming household names. But there are a slew of other great titles that flew under the radar. Networks and streaming services are always looking for the next big thing, meaning sitcoms get pumped out at an impressive rate. As such, there are many shows that can be labelled underrated as they didn't manage to find the right audience. So with that in mind, I'm Ellie with What Culture here with 10 criminally underrated sitcoms. Number 10. The Middle If you haven't seen The Middle, change that right now. Not to be confused with Malcolm in the Middle, The Middle was a goofy series that lasted for nine seasons. But weirdly, despite running for such a long time, it has close to no cultural footprint. If you ask any casual viewer about the show, the best you'll get is some passing interest, which is a real shame. The series followed the misadventures of a dysfunctional family living in the remote town of Orson, Indiana. The Hex were an odd assortment of weirdos with a mostly reasonable mother, father, and three, let's say unique kids. Comparing this show to Malcolm in the Middle, something the title inevitably does, is somewhat fair as they both rely on wacky comedy and accurate depictions of American families. However, The Middle strikes out on its own as its comedy style toes the line between grounded and absurdist. It's also painfully relatable, with the strange family dynamics and social awkwardness of the kids leading to plenty of hilarious yet believable moments. Now, the series ended in 2018 at the request of the creator. It was a consistent and reliable program for ABC, but never rose above its ironically middling position on the network. Number 9. Mythic Quest There are not enough sitcoms about geeky subjects. Sure, you can point to comedies like The Big Bang Theory, Community, or Silicon Valley as bastions of geekdom, but actually seeing a comedy centred on a geeky subject is very rare. But that's where Mythic Quest steps in. This Apple TV series follows the struggles of a video game studio as they work on their popular game. The team, led by the game's creator Ian Grimm, fight to keep their game relevant while dealing with the struggles of office work. Naturally, the setup for the show is unique, and while it does rely heavily on overused workplace comedy, the focus on video games gives it an instant edge, and it has an incredible cast to boot. The show certainly does have a fan base, but it deserves a lot more attention than it gets. Number 8. Stath Let's Flats Do you like cringe humour, absurdity, an electric collection of characters, and a not so so often seen cultural standpoint? Well then you will love Stath Let's Flats. It tells the story of the titular Stath, a British Greek Cypriot who works at his father's letting agency. He's incompetent at his job and everyday life, leading to hilarious hijinks as he seeks to inherit the business from his father. There's plenty to adore about this show, with its unique sense of humour coming first and foremost. The comedy is quick paced and quirky, with awkward interactions, unexpected dialogue and shocking moments galore. Plus, it has compared Telling cultural hooks thanks to the focus on Greek culture, something often underrepresented in media. Not many people are familiar with this show, but there are three excellent seasons to enjoy if you want something fresh to laugh at. Number 7. United States of Tara United States of Tara is a wickedly clever dark comedy that toes the line between making you laugh and making you feel. Tara is a middle-aged mother of two. She is also diagnosed with dissociative identity disorder, meaning she often transitions into alter egos. The show follows her as she navigates life while trying to cope with the struggles of her condition. It has received plenty of praise for its accurate depiction of the disorder, making it an outlier in a TV landscape often plagued with insensitivity towards complex mental health issues. The show is also a star vehicle for Toni Collette, who thrives as the titular protagonist. Her ability to jump into multiple characters is quickly impressive, but her nuanced and elusive depiction of Tara herself is just as complex complex and engaging. Sadly, the show didn't garner a large viewer base, leading to its premature cancellation. But that shouldn't deter you from checking out this one-of-a-kind series. Number 6. AP Bio AP Bio sees Glenn Howerton take on the role of Jack Griffin, a former Harvard University professor who loses his job and moves back to his hometown to teach advanced placement biology. However, instead of enthusiastically educating his new students, he decides to use them to get revenge on his rival. This series comes with all the mean spirit humour you can expect from the badly 
behaved authority figure trope. While it's not as punchy as some of the other entries on this list, it does score points for Howerton's stellar leading performance. But Howerton isn't the only selling point in this show, as there's a reliable cast of characters and plenty of sharp dialogue. It balances clever character interactions with physical comedy and outlandish plots, leading to a tasty cocktail of entertainment. Number 5. Don't Trust the Bee in Apartment 23 The aptly named Don't Trust the Bee in Apartment 23 opens with June moving into an apartment with Chloe. However, June soon discovers that Chloe is a serial con artist who scams all of her potential roomies. Despite getting off on the wrong foot, the pair bond over an unexpected incident and continue living together. The show's biggest selling point has to be the odd couple pairing of Chloe and June. They bounce off each other with an electric chemistry and impeccable comic timing. This is thanks to the brilliant performances from both actors and the witty quick paced dialogue. Sadly, this is yet another brilliant show though that got cancelled prematurely, lasting only two seasons before leaving the airways for good. Hardcore fans have petitioned for it to return to no avail, so you'll have to go in geared in for disappointment with this one, I'm afraid. Number 4. Crashing Crashing is a comedy series created by Phoebe Waller-Bridge, and it was an early indication of her immense potential. The programme explores the lives of six characters living in an abandoned hospital, navigating life and relationships before their inevitable evictions. This is a fascinating setup for comedy, as it puts everyone on a level playing field, with the character dynamics and tensions forming the basis for the humour and plot. It's also a dark take on traditional sitcoms, subverting the genre's tropes in a cynical yet loving way. The series only lasted for six episodes. As such, you can bang the whole thing out in one sitting, and you'll be glad you did. Sadly, it didn't get renewed for a second season, but it is still worth your time. Number 3. Tuca and Bertie Tuca and Bertie tells the story of, shockingly, Tuca and Bertie a pair of 30-something best friends who live in the same apartment complex. You witness the trials and tribulations of these polar opposites as they navigate friendship, love, careers and more. Oh, and they're also anthropomorphic birds. Now the show does have strong ties to Bojack Horseman. The gifted cartoonist responsible for Bojack's visual style is the creator of this show. However, comparing it directly to the Netflix series is unfair, as it really is its own thing. The animated comedy accurately depicts middle-aged life and friendships with all the hardships and confusion that come with it. Plus, the quirky comedy helps to take the edge off some of the more severe moments. Tragically, Tuca and Bertie got cancelled not once but twice. Netflix axed it after season one, and then Adult Swim followed suit after season three, so it needs all the love it can get. Number two, Lovesick slash Scrotal Recall. Lovesick is a British sitcom that originally aired on Channel 4 under the much funnier name Scrotal Recall before Netflix picked it up for its second and third seasons. It follows Dylan, a young man forced to reconnect with all his previous lovers after being diagnosed with chlamydia. He shares this adventure with his two roommates, Evie and Luke. You can tell right off the bat that this isn't one of the watch with your folks kind of shows, as the risque subject matter is sure to make anyone blush, but it provides a refreshingly twisted take on the sitcom genre, exploring the hilariously awkward side of sex and relationships. The series also has a unique format, as the majority of each episode gets told through flashback. It's like Lost, if if Jack spent every episode remembering the worst parts of his love life. What's not to love about that? Number 1. Party Down This star-studded series explores the lives of a group of actors slash writers who try to make it big in Hollywood only to spend their days as caterers. It's a show full of plus points, with one of the firmest being the accurate and believable depiction of struggling to achieve your goals in life. Whether you have aspirations to work in the creative industry or not doesn't matter, as you'll still easily understand the themes of this show. Oh, and it's side-splittingly funny, of course. Unlike many underperforming sitcoms, Party Down got the luxury of concluding its story thanks to its 2023 revival. Shockingly, this six-episode third season wrapped the show up in a satisfying bow. This means you can enjoy it from start to finish, with no qualms about it being unfinished. Party Down is often labelled the quintessential underrated sitcom, and once you've checked it out for yourself, you'll definitely see why. And that's our list, but let us know if you think we've missed a major one in the comments down below, and while you're there, don't forget to like and subscribe and tap that notification bell. I've been Ellie with What Culture. I hope you have a magical day, and I'll see you real soon.